with Brad Cox back on the Belmont backstretch. Brad, you got three going in the Belmont Stakes this weekend. Uh, let's start with the first one, Angel of Empire. How'd it come out of the Kentucky Derby and how's the horse feeling? Came out great. Um, obviously, we didn't train yesterday, but he had a good gallop on the main track this morning, first thing. 6 a.m., moving great. Super happy with what we've seen from him. Super intelligent horse, and I think he can handle the pressure of the Belmont. Mile and a half, we'll see how it goes. In terms of hit show, ran a big race in the Kentucky Derby. How'd that horse come out? It seems like that horse really, really ran its numbers big. Yeah, he did. I do, do believe he needs to take another step forward, uh, and he should be right there. Um, energy level's great. He's going to train here in a little bit. Uh, but happy with what we've seen from him since. Third one going in the Belmont Stakes. Uh, Tabachu's post position doesn't really matter in the Belmont. Got the one hole, but uh, we've seen tap it in the past. We've seen what happens in the Belmont Stakes. How are you feeling about that one? He's doing great. He's a horse that we always thought since last fall he would improve the more he did it with time, and he definitely has. He's improved a tremendous amount. You go back and watch his first run. I mean, he's kind of walked out of the gate, uh, you know, very green. Even when he broke his maiden, he was green, kind of ducking and diving down the lane. But overall, he's matured a tremendous amount. Uh, you know, you're hopeful that the, the tap it can come through, get him the mop, get, get, get the 12 furlongs. And, uh, you know, he, he's another one that obviously has to take a step forward, but he's definitely improved mentally and physically at the right time. Last question for you. The Jiper came back a monster race. Yeah. Caravel, uh, any concern with that post position? I know it's going short. You, you're on the outside there? No, not really. You know, she, she's... She, Quick enough away from the gate that you know I don't I don't really know if it matters a whole lot with post um, with her. Um, I'm I'm pretty confident that she can get a good trip from out there. Tyler has a lot of confidence in her. She's you know I think put together four straight victories. She's has experience here at Belmont, having won the Intercontinental last year, and she's just a type of filly or a type of racehorse that when she turns for home if she's got has her head in front. She's just tough to get by. Um, I think she you look at her body of work I mean, she's never been second in her race in her life and to run as many times as she has shows how much determination and grit and the fight she has about herself so i'm excited about giving her another opportunity against the boys i mean going against the boys again we could see super philly here <laughs> yeah we'll see we'll see hopeful um you know once again she she is doing well she's super happy she has the experience here at belmont from last year hopefully all that pays off best of luck tomorrow thanks appreciate it